We got him, boys. This is like the most exciting day of my life. Finally got a minute. Is it heavy? No. Dude, there none of them are healed. Well, we're hit yet. Look at it. Do you see we live? Yeah. Why not? Look, tarpon right there, Alex. <laughs> Look, right there! Dude, oh, they're so gonna destroy many me. minnows. Well, we got enough oh, chummers, I'll tell you that. Look at them! They're going crazy! Yeah. Alright guys, so this is how we're starting out today. Got my brand new glass minnow net. Very excited to use this thing. And we're out here netting these guys right here. We call them glass minnows. They're not actually glass minnows. They're called bay anchovies. And this area is loaded with them. We're going to take them offshore, use them as chummers. And honestly, we could probably use them as hook and line baits too. We're going to try to get the dolphin fired up, triple tail, anything that we find offshore. I think that's legal fish. Alec is on. First fish of the day. Oh, there's another. Oh, that's yours. I'm a little sketch on the landing on this with the Woo! triple. Dude, that one's putting on a show, isn't it? I think that's gonna be a keeper. Yeah, I think it Can is. I just bring him in. Boat flip. Can you flip him in? You got a tread on. He swallowed it good or no? Because I got a net. Want me to net him or are you gonna flip him? You hooked him in the head, didn't you? Yeah, maybe we'll net him. Into the schoolie scooper. Schoolie scooper! Oh, he's a keeper. Oh! Nice! Nice! Dude, he's lit up. Yeah, he's keeper. He's 20 inches. Dude, that keeper. one's lit up. Look at him. Dolphin. I don't know. First, first dolphin in the boat right there. Oh! Oh! oh. There's so many. There's so little. Look at that. Ready? Watch this. Minnows down. Yo, I want to hand feed them. I think we could. Could you? You think? Yeah, if you keep chumming, you. CJ did it. Did he? Yeah. I don't know. Dude, there's no more chum. Oh, man. I don't know if any oh! oh! There, he's got oh! one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you have to fire it up. Feeding our pet mahis. Can throw some right here? Dude, they're fired up. That's so sick. So sick. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like a 14 pounder to swim by. I haven't seen any. These all look small. If we see if we see small fish like this, I mean, they caught a few, but we're probably not gonna fish for them much longer because all of them are small. They generally are born at the same time and they travel in the same uh, oh, dude, size class. <laughs> Still cool to see. Look at all of them. There's a couple big ones. Oh, look, that might be legal, right? Nah. They're fired hey, up. And that was on one bird. Brooke spotted a bird, and we found all these fish on one bird. I don't know. That's a dusky. Look at all the blue runners. Oh, boy. Look at all those blue runners. And there's a huge dusky right there. Drag screaming blue runner action. That's not a bunch. What'd you get? Sharks? No. So we came out and we found this little weed patch and we were sabiking little baby blue runners, dwarf jacks we call them. And a huge oh, school of blue top. runners came in. We got them chummed up and we're actually going to keep them because Chris, Chris can sell them and plan on doing a catch and cook with a blue runner as well. So I want to get some big ones. And there's a big dusky shark right there. Dude, he wants your runner. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he's huge. Another blue runner. They have to be 16 inches, right, Vic? 18 inches. 18? 18. Oh, it could be illegal. I don't know Vic if he's 18. There's a cone under there. We can have to them out. Woo! That's my first triple tail. Is really? It? Yeah. That's a good first one. Alex, did he eat the minnow? No, oh, he, he ate the jig. What? Smoked it. Where's the net? He's barely left. He might be legal, dude. dude. He's gonna be legal. Watch. Oh, oh my god! Oh. He's totally gonna be legal. Dude, that bird. thing's big. What do you mean? This, he's legal as hell. Wow, That's you weren't expecting that, were you? Not at all. I thought he was like. Oh. No, babe, you're not on the zero. Oh. Oh, oh he's wait, legal. Wait, wait, check again. Check again. Wait. Hold him actually on there. Is right it good? There. 
Yeah, he's 18 and 19. Oh, he's almost 19. 19. Wow. He passes it. Dude, no way on the savage. Good job, dude. <laughs> it's been real slow. We ran out to well, We ran out to 1600 feet of water. Didn't see almost nothing. And this is the biggest weed patch we've seen all day. And Alec has a little spoon that he casted at the edge of the seaweed. And we have all these little triple tail coming out. We're just chumming with the glass spinners. Look, 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 there's three there's, right there. There might be, there might be some bigger ones. Oh my gosh, look. What is that? He's got like a... A tag? Was that? No, he's uh, got some kind of... Huh? No, it's squishy. It's some kind of growth in his peck fin. Look at how little... He's got like a little nub. And then he's got a full grown peck fin on this side. It looks like someone shot him or he got attacked. There's probably so many in the middle of the mat. Oh, Next yeah, time we come out here, nice we're gonna go and dive for them because there's gotta be so many in the middle. We took those glass minnows and just started chumming and they just popped out of nowhere. Did you see him eat it right, yeah. up, right on the side? We saw him cruising I right go, on the edge. I go, there's a little one and then a big one came out of nowhere. The little line through spoon at him. It's a Is freshwater it? lure, he smoked it. He's got teeth. He's got decent, yeah, he decent little him. teeth. I was gonna lip him like a bass, I'm glad I did. Giant. I don't think he's gonna make it. He will. Make it into your He will one day. Minnow me, Blazer. They're getting bigger. One inch bigger than the last one. That's right. Watch yeah. this. Look, look, look. look at the stripes on his nose. Dude, these things are so spiny. All right, you guys ready for this bait haul? We just got done fishing and we try to get a little bit more bait for the next time we go out, so we have it. Ah, it's all minnows! So we came home with a nice haul of blue runners, one triple tail, and one dolphin. And you know what? We probably saw like 50 dolphin, but only one keeper. And that's just the way it goes sometimes. So, but this channel is all about showing you guys that all fish is good. So I'm going to show you guys tonight we're going to cook blue runner, dolphin, and possibly a little triple tail all side by side. And I guarantee you all three are going to be delicious. So we're just going to knock the sides off this blue runner real quick. So there is one side of your blue runner. Now what I'm going to show you is the reason people think they're a trash fish and people don't like them. We're going to take the skin off you're gonna see how big the bloodline is. And that's the one thing that scares people when eating fish is a big, mean bloodline. When you freeze fish, this is what'll ruin your fish when you freeze it. If you don't take this out, it becomes very rancid. It does not taste good at all whatsoever. So what you can do is, this is where the pin bones lie anyway. So what we'll do is go on one side of the bloodline, take it out on the other side of the bloodline, Take it out, you remove the pin bones, you remove the bloodline, and that's that real thick red area that you don't want in your filet. Just gotta get rid of this little belly right here. But look at that, other than that, it's a nice firm piece of filet. I'm not gonna get rid of this bloodline just because we're gonna eat it fresh tonight. If we were gonna eat it in a few days, I would remove it. But it basically looked the same as the triple tail from the other day. The triple tail had a huge bloodline as well. Now we're gonna flay our one lonely dolphin. Only keeper of the day. Still fun to go out there. Had a good time with the boys and Brookie. And if you guys are interested, all the knives you guys see us use, these are Dexter knives. And you can actually save 20% off use code LANDSHARK at DexterOutdoors.com. I'll have it on the screen as well as in the description box below. So we're just gonna get on the other side of this backbone right here. Angle your knife down. And try to avoid this gut cavity at all costs because they have nasty guts. Dolphin have very nasty guts. Look at that. No meat left on that thing whatsoever. Nice, sharp, flexible knife like this Dexter will do the job. So when skinning dolphin, they have really thin skin. So what I like to do is I kind of glide just above the skin and I'll leave a little bit of meat because it's very easy to pierce through it. And then it kind of messes up your filet. 
So you leave a very thin layer of meat right above the skin, which you guys will see in a second. Just like that. Very thin layer, and it's kind of real fibrous too, so we just get rid of that. Now, dolphin don't have a very big bloodline, especially when they're that small. So something like the Blue Runner, this is the Blue Runner's bloodline, you guys compare it, you see how dark red that is? That's where the trash fish, that's where the trash and trash fish generally comes from, is people mistakenly eating this, freezing it, not knowing how to process their fish. When eaten fresh, I'm not even gonna remove that bloodline. I'm just gonna remove a few pen bones right here, which lie about halfway down the fillet, from the head to the tail, go on both sides of the bloodline, lift up, cut, save it for the catfish, and we're done. There's really not that much color difference between the two. If anything, the Blue Runner's a little bit more firmer, the mahi is more mushy, but Chris, what do you think? Not, not big of a difference, is there? Pretty close. You grew up eating Blue Runners, didn't you? Oh yeah. His family's from the Bahamas and Blue Runners are a big staple over there, aren't they? Blue Runners and rice. Blue Runners and rice. Blue Runners and grits are your grandma's favorite? Yeah. We got a combination of green, orange, yellow bell pepper, some tomato, onion, and then I just laid all the Blue Runner and mahi on top. The other day, we made triple tail in these pans and it just came out so good, so I wanted to do it again. But this time we're gonna do like a, just a smorgasbord of ingredients and spices. First, we're gonna start off with black pepper over everything. Salt. You know me, I gotta do some garlic powder. Paprika. Some turmeric. That's new, that's something we didn't use last time. I don't know. Turmeric, turmeric. I've heard people say it both ways. Coriander. And a little bit of nutmeg. Okay. And Brooke's like, okay. Hey, I put cinnamon on fish once and you loved it, remember? This is true. This is very true. And then this is a little bit of leftover cilantro stems, garlic, tomato, and lime juice. Kind of like a little paste that we whipped up with the magic bullet. I'm just gonna spread it apart here because everything's gonna mix eventually anyway. White wine, I'm gonna spread around the pan. Most of this will cook out. Now we're gonna just finish it off with some butter. So both pans on the grill should take like 20 to 30 minutes. How good does that look? All those flavors can come together. I think it's gonna be really good. Right here is definitely mahi. This is Blue Runner. Okay, baby rock. Oh, baby baby Let's see. Let's do a bite before we even get to it. I know this is Blue Runner. You know how I can tell? Look at that bloodline. Bloodline and that skin. Let's get a little. Tell you what, you would not be able to know that's Blue Runner. No way in heck. Not a chance you would ever be able to tell that's Blue Runner. Look at that bloodline. That terrifies people. You're on, buddy. Well, what not, do we think? I'm not paying attention to what I'm eating. I'm just freaking shoveling it in my mouth. <laughs> I'm a petite. Because it's all good. Fish. Fresh. It's fish, that's it. That's all there is to it. Fresh out of the great Atlantic. Victor tried to give a little bit of dolphin and blue runner on each plate. I honestly can't really tell the difference between two. I wouldn't even be able to tell you which was blue runner and which was dolphin. It was all absolutely delicious though. The recipe that he did was amazing. Good job. 10 out of 10 as usual. I don't think I've ever had a bad meal here. Um, yeah, I agree with Brooke. I can't tell the difference. It's all freaking good. Um, I would have to say, Vic, my favorite is the Blue Runner. You know, the texture is just amazing. That paired with the rice and the peppers, mm, spot on. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's sarcastic, he's still eating it. <laughs> 
Look, his his plate's dwindling down. I love that. <laughs> you like the Blue Runner, right? It's delicious. Actually, when we when Brian Brian's a commercial fisherman, so he's eating a lot of fish. When he came through the door, he's like, "What are you gonna What are you guys cooking up?" And I said, "Dolphin." And he said, "Well, what's the red stuff?" And I said, "Blue Runner." He goes, "I love Blue Runner. You've eaten it all the time, haven't you?" Blue Runner's delicious, especially the top one. You know. Yeah. Cut the bones out, cut the bloodline out, and you're looking really good. And that's coming from a commercial fisherman who basically can eat whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Everybody enjoyed it, we're having a good meal. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, catch you guys in that next video.